Hello students, till now you have learned numbers from 1 to 10,000. Today we will revise a little bit. You already know that 10 ones are equal to 1 tens. And 10 tens are equal to 1 hundred. Next, 10 hundreds are equal to 1 thousand. And next is 10 one thousands are equal to 10 thousand. As we know that there is no note of rupees 10,000. So you can make this note at your home like this so that you can easily learn. Now we will solve some question from our mathematics book given on page number 12. So here are the questions written on board. Have a look. Question number second is show the numbers in place value table. So we will solve part B. The number in the question is 7605. So now first of all we will have the currency notes according to the number given. 7600. No digit at place of 10. So we will not take any 10 rupee note. And 5. Now we will see this number on the man cards. It is. 7605. When we open the man cards, it is 7605. Now, when we will join it, we will same the then we will see same number. Now we have the place value chart. So to write the numbers in the place value chart. Place a thousand seven six hundred and five. So to answer this in your notebooks, write the question in your notebook. Then serial number part you are answering and write the num digits at their place value. Next question number three. Write in words. We will solve part B. Statement is 8088. Now we will have currency notes. 8000. No digit at 100 place. So no 100 rupee notes. Next 80. And 8. So if we see this figure on one card. It will be like this. 8088. If we expand it, 8088. So now we join it. Now we will write this in words as 8088. So to answer this in your notebook, Copy the question, part you are answering and at last solution. Oh. Next question, write in numerals. So we will solve part B. The statement is 3875. So first of all we will have currency notes. 3800. 75. Now we will see this figure on man card. 3875. Now if we expand it, it is 3875. So now we will join it again. 3875. Five. So it will be written in numerals as 3875. So to solve this in your notebooks, 
write the question part you are answering and at last answer the remaining parts you will solve by yourself in your notebooks. Thank you.